earaches or pain in the ear is very common in both children and adults. It presents differently in children, often with fevers, drainage from the ear, irritability, crying, and even dizziness. And in adults, it often presents with changes in hearing, stuffiness, um, loss of balance, and also pain which can present as dull, burning, or even sharp pain. Several things can cause earaches in both children and adults. This includes problems with both the ear and structures around the ear. Uh, common causes of earache include otitis media or middle ear infections, otitis externa, often called swimmer's ear, problems with the temporomandibular joint or jaw joint next to the ear, throat pain, such as throat infections. In children, two very common causes are ear infections or otitis media. And this can often present with problems that can include hearing loss, although it's not often known in the beginning, and also problems with language and learning development. The second most common cause in children especially is eustachian tube dysfunction. This is very common in children with nasal stuffiness and also allergic rhinitis. Treatments for acute otitis media can include antibiotics and ear drops. And if these problems continue, this is often treated with something called pressure equalization tubes or PE tubes. And this is a small procedure that is performed in the operating room after recurrent ear infections are diagnosed. In adults, very common causes of ear infection can include otitis externa or swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear is often treated with antibiotic drops and sometimes even oral antibiotics. Ear infections can occur in adults, but less frequently than children. Another common cause of ear aches in adults can be temporomandibular joint dysfunction or pain in the joint of the jaw around the ear. Treatment for ear aches in adults can be variable, including antibiotics for external ear infections and conservative preventative measures for temporomandibular joint dysfunction, such as anti-inflammatories and chewing soft foods for several weeks. On your first visit to the ENT specialist, earaches are often evaluated by an otoscope or an instrument to look inside of the ear. The ENT specialists are looking for problems with the eardrum itself, the canal, or often structures behind the eardrum. This could include an evaluation for things like fluid behind the ear, which can cause pain and pressure. They might also evaluate the jaw or other structures that can lead to ear aches, such as throat infections or other structures of the head and neck. These other complications can be evaluated by an endoscopy of the nose or even an audiogram to evaluate hearing loss. When you see an ENT specialist, important questions to ask could include, is my ear ache associated with the ear itself or structures around the ear? What other tests need to be performed? If they do diagnose ear infections, how often should I expect this to recur? And would my child potentially need pressure equalization tubes? Also important would be if it is other structures that are potentially causing ear aches, how long would I expect this to occur? And what are ways to prevent this in the future? And I think most importantly with earaches, an important question is, how should I be cleaning my ears so that I'm not causing a problem myself? I'd encourage you to go to enthealth.org to find out more information about earaches and other common diagnoses that ENT specialists see. I would also encourage you to click find an ENT button on the website to find an ENT specialist closest to you.